Today I am going to deep massage love into your tissue so diving right on in first things first we must know what love is in order to truly love ourselves and usher love our way if we don't even know the fundamentals of love it's going to be challenging to usher love and i'm talking the kind of love that gets your heart palpitating true love beats oftentimes we really think we know what love is because it rolls off of our tongues so easily we think we know what we want in and from our mates but when asked these two questions one what is love to you and two what are you looking for in your future heart mate we kind of get choked up and it's typically because we have the slightest clue which is okay when you are truthful with yourselves and I say we because I was there I had the slightest clue I was all unaligned lacking key ingredients then I gave myself a homework assignment I start doing some soul searching some digging deep in my tissues I start reading and then I took my assignment to the next level because I really wanted to know how to love myself and attract the same love I was vibrating. So guess what I did? I began applying all that I was lacking in order to show myself deep affection. So with that, today is a new day and we are all on this growth love quest together if you choose to so there's absolutely no need to feel low if you truly have the slightest clue about love because i'm about to up your vibration so we can soar as one now i deeply believe that love is all of the positives that we feed ourselves all of the positives we pour into others and all of the positives we receive in return that's my short and sweet elevator statement for what love is <laughs> now i'm about to get a little personal but every day that I am granted another day on this earth, I say these words, Lord, I love you. Thank you for loving me. And then I say this affirmation throughout the day. Love is in you. Love pours out of you and love is coming to you. Now, my lengthier version for what love is, is simply this. Love is when you have deep affection for yourself first. It's not looking outwardly for affection, rather focusing that lens inwardly first first love is enveloped with kindness towards yourself in the most gentle way it's embracing your shortcomings having admiration for yourself in other words having self-respect it's having grace and dignity about yourself love is having stillness within also known as peace it's having joy even when the joy thief tries to steal your gleefulness love is knowing that greatness lives within your core love is being vulnerable and truthful you aka unmasked you as the dramatics says if what you are looking for is real loving then guess what what you see is what you get so with all of that being said if and when you are on a quest to connect with your soulmate your heartmate your lover your boo bear whatever word of endearment you choose to use to describe your future life partner you're gonna attract just what you're vibrating so be intentional about this thing called love positive source as those very things that i just described is your quote unquote magnet for love or should i say whatever your definition of love is will be your magnet for love I believe it's Marvin Gaye that says, I want you, but I want you to want me too, just like I want you, which is similar to the sayings, be the energy you want to attract or you attract what you vibrate. So again, before you ask for love to come your way, make sure first things are first. Start where love begins, which is with that person staring right back at you in the mirror. Now, before I quiet my voice, let me address the one question that gets thrown at me quite often. And I'm only going to address this one time. Then this will be under my feet. And that is, why aren't you married the short and sweet is because i'm working on all of those things that i just described so i can truly be the energy i want to attract into my precious life because i certainly don't want to be attracting people who is in the game of breaking hearts especially if i'm still walking around with a broken heart i want my heart healed so i can be in loving harmonic rhythm with my mate 
if it's in the creator's plan for me to be booed up. And I am a believer that it's possible to attract all that I've described into your precious lives as well. Just note, loving self requires patience and discipline. Ushering love also requires patience and discipline, which should be just fine when you are walking in love. Now be the energy you want to attract, and when you come in contact with your king or queen, you'll know because your souls will feel at home. Know that I love you guys.